Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem from RMO 2016. RMO is the Regional Math Olympiads in India. This is a fairly easy problem, very manageable, but it's about proving inequality, so it's an important concept. So we have a over 1 plus a plus b over 1 plus b plus c over 1 plus c equals 1, and we are supposed to prove that the product ABC is less than or equal to 8. In this case, ABC are all positive. They're greater than 0. So here's what I'm going to do. I would like to put the C on the right-hand side. And subtract it from 1. And then make a common denominator on both sides. You can also do all three at the same time, but I just find it easier to do... Uh, two terms at a time, so it's going to be a times 1 plus b plus b times 1 plus a divided by 1 plus a times 1 plus b. And here if you make a common denominator, we're going to get 1 plus c minus c. The c cancels out and we end up with 1 over c. Something simple. Now let's go ahead and simplify uh, what's on the left hand side and then we're going to cross multiply. So we get a plus AB plus B plus AB that is divided by 1 plus we can also distribute that let's go ahead and do it it's gonna give us 1 plus B plus A plus AB and now we're gonna multiply these so now if you go ahead and notice that these two will give us 2 AB so don't forget that we have uh, on top A plus B plus 2 AB and the bottom is the same and we're just gonna multiply okay Let's go ahead and multiply these two first. When you multiply a plus b plus 2ab by 1 plus c, when you distribute, let's go ahead and multiply by 1 first, a plus b plus 2ab, and let's multiply everything by c, ac, bc, and we get 2abc. And the other product is going to come from here. Since we're multiplying by 1, it's just going to be the same thing. 1 plus a, b plus a plus ab. Now we can go ahead and subtract one of the ab's here, and A and B cancel out, so A plus B cancels out, and we end up with follow the following. 2ABC plus AB plus AC plus BC is equal to 1. Now I'm going to leave uh, 1 on the right hand side uh, because it's a little easier that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at the left hand side as a sum of four terms and uh, we are supposed to prove that ABC is less than or equal to 1 eighth and we know that this sum is equal to 1. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the AMGM inequality and here's how the AMGM inequality works. Let's talk a little bit about that. So AMG, AMGM inequality basically says that the arithmetic mean of a bunch of positive numbers is always greater than or equal to their geometric mean. Uh, as long as the numbers are positive, it doesn't matter how many numbers you're dealing with. For example, you could be dealing with two numbers like x and y. Their arithmetic mean, which is the average, is going to be greater than their geometric mean, which is the product uh, or the square root of their product. With three numbers, it's the cube root. With four numbers, it's going to be the fourth root. So that's how the AMG inequality works, and the proof is fairly easy. With the cases of two and three, we can use basic algebra, and then for higher cases, uh, we can use induction. Okay, so with four terms, this is what the AMGM is going to look like. We're going to have 2ABC, AB plus AC plus BC. So their arithmetic mean is basically uh, their sum divided by 4. And according to AMGM, this is going to be greater than or equal to the fourth root of their product, which is 2ABC times AB times AC times BC. So let's go ahead and simplify this expression and see how we can arrive at the answer from here. Now, one thing that's very important is that we simplified our expression and we ended up with uh, a constant sum, right, for, the, for these terms. So this sum is equal to 1, therefore I can just replace the numerator here with 1. That's going to give me 1 fourth. And then it is going to be greater than or equal to the fourth root of the product. So that product is going to be 2 a cubed, b cubed, and c cubed, because we have everything uh, three times. 
Now let's go ahead and put this on the left, um, on the right hand side, the stuff on the right hand side. Let's put it on the left hand side. And then we are going to raise both sides to the fourth power. So let's go ahead and write this as the fourth root of 2a cubed b cubed c cubed is less than or equal to 1 fourth. At this point, if you want, you can multiply both sides by 4 and then raise both sides to the fourth power. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. Now, let's go ahead and raise this to the fourth power and this number to the fourth power. When we do, a, b, c are positive. Remember that. That's important. And because if a, b, c, the product is negative, then this is going to be undefined. But anyways, um, when you raise it to the fourth power, it's just going to be uh, what's inside. So 2a cubed, b cubed, c cubed is less than or equal to. Now, 1 fourth to the fourth power. Um, 1 fourth squared is 116. And if you square that, you're going to get 1 over 256. Awesome. We can go ahead and multiply uh, both sides by 1 half. That's going to give us a cubed. B cubed, C cubed is less than or equal to 1 over 512. And notice that 512 is 2 to the 9th power. Therefore, this is uh, 2 to the power negative 9. If you cube root both sides, you're going to get ABC is less than or equal to 2 to the power negative 3, uh, which is going to be 1 eighth. And guess what? That's what we were trying to prove. So we were given this expression and we were trying to prove that the product is less than or equal to 1 eighth. Now let's uh, go ahead and take a look at if this value is attainable because a lot of times with these kinds of problems, okay, we find that ABC is less than or equal to 1 eighth, but can ABC equal 1 eighth? That's going to be a good question, right? And a lot of times with expressions like this, um, the idea is pretty much the same. Uh, of course, um, we have to have some type of symmetry. So here, if you switch A, B, C around, the expression is not going to change. So we have that kind of symmetry. So if uh, you set A, B, C equal, so if A equals B equals C, then from here, you're going to get the following. We're going to have A over 1 plus A three times. That equals 1. This gives us 3A equals A plus 1 which means 2a equals 1 and a equals 1 half. And for the value of a equals 1 half, of course, b is going to be that and c is going to be that. a, b, c is just going to equal 1 half to the third power, which is 1 8. So it's possible for a, b, c to attain the value of 1 8 when they are all equal. All right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.